Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home to who's here today? Well, we've got Megan and we've got Sean. But don't just sit there, frittles. Come on, let's get busy. See? <gasps> yes, we're going to make some special flags. There's a stick. We'll just tape this on. Granny Murray's... Oh! these children? Yes, me! I love me! <laughs> so, now you put lots of glue and stick it on your flag. Push down so it's really stuck hard. This is our Megan flag! Well, we've got Megan and we've got Sean, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore! Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Whose legs are those coming down the steps? Oh, yes, it's Jack with Rudy. Hello there. <laughs> Rudy! Hi, Hi Granny Murray. There and Jack. Well done. <laughs> Go on, Maggie. <laughs> Woo, it sounds busy in here. <laughs> oh, it is. There's a lot of waving going on. We'll be making flags, Jack. Woo! Now Jack's here, we'll dress Claude up as an old sea captain. <laughs> nice. There we are, that's the way. And we can dock ourselves over by the chairs. Oh, OK. Oh, I am looking forward to taking the children to see the docks. All the boats coming and going. I like to imagine that I'm standing on the deck with a breeze blowing in my face. <laughs> I much prefer to have my feet firmly planted on dry land, Granny Murray. <laughs> Not like Louie, however. She's been all over the world. She knows everything there is to know about all the different countries. Oh, I'll bet she does. Mm, not like me. I'm a bit of a homebody, I'm afraid. I don't know that much at all, really. <laughs> well, we've all got something to teach and we've all got something to learn. <laughs> and speaking of which, I'd better be up and away to the market. <laughs> oh, look at Captain Claude. Oh. There we are. <laughs> Ahoy there, Captain Claude. <laughs> oh, well done, my flowers. <laughs> I'd best be off. I've got a flag for you and it's got a picture of me on it. A picture of you? Yes. <gasps> well, I will wave that all day. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Thanks, Jack. I'll pop that in me bag and you can give me a cuddle. <laughs> right, have a good day. Yeah. Good boy. Come on, <laughs> See you later. See you later, Dad. Now remember, we've all got something to teach and we've all got something to learn. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, darling. I'll be thinking of you. <laughs> me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Rudy and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm on my way to work today I'm walking me shoes through the city views I'm stepping along and I'm swinging me arms And I'm singing my way through the city's charms I get in there, it's just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always go the way I know But can you tell me the way I go? OK, which way? And do I go left now? Or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? And which way is right? OK, that way, to the market I'm on my way to work today I'm going this way and that away Hello cobbles Hello train Hello roadworks Hello tram Hello sweeper Hello van Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? And which way's a frown? Ah! What, this way? You told me the way to go Thank you, you showed me the way I know So here we are. Now what? Ah yeah, I need to get changed for work. All dressed and ready to go. 
Hi, Rudy. Nice to see you hard at work this early in the morning. <laughs> Hello, Mickey John. So, you off to school? Yes, I'm off to teach, but I've still got a lot to learn. You know, it's my philosophy that everyone should learn something new every day. Oh, yeah. I learn tons from all the various people I meet here at the market. Like me, for instance. Oh, <laughs> you got it, Mickey John. Hey! Maybe you could teach me some fascinating facts about all the things on my stall. You know, facts about fruit and veg and that. Oh, that's a great idea. And we'll start with the potato. Oh, I'm going to love finding out things about the potato. Thanks, Rudy. Oh. I'll go off and make some notes and come right back. See you later, Mickey John. <laughs> I can't wait to tell that to Jack. <laughs> I miss you, Daddy. Hey, Rudy, listen to this. Oh, listen to what? Well, I found this great book, The Secret Life of Potatoes. Farmers in the Andes Mountains discovered the potato 7,000 years ago. <laughs> That's Andy. At first, people in this country didn't like the idea of eating potatoes. Why? I don't know. Then everyone started eating potatoes when they realised they had good things in them. Like vitamins, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Plus the fact that they taste really, really good. So let me see if I've got this right. Um, potatoes were discovered by farmers. Uh, they were discovered in the Andes. And um, people in this country didn't like to eat them, really, until, well, until they discovered that they were full of vitamins and stuff. Oh, thanks, Mickey John. Right oh, Well, I'd better get this back to school before the library opens. Cool. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Right, and I'd better get down to some hard work. And do be do be do I make it look easy. What I do be do be do And what I do is sell to you and you and you All of the veggies for a stew. But it's more than meets the eye. What I do for you as I buy and buy. While you still sleep, those fruit and veg to eat And the flowers in the early hours So when wake up comes, it's there for you The market stalls are there to view Oh, the market, the market, what a wonderful place oh, The hub of the people, the smiles on each face oh, The market, the market, come look around oh, The hustle, the bustle, the bubbles of sound The colours all chaotic and spilling about The smells all exotic, yeah, the market cries out Objects to excite you and draw you near The buying and the selling Cheap or dear The market, the market I just love to be there The market is a wonderful place 7,000 metres up the Andes uh, Oh, no, 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 not metres um, 7,000 years ago in the Andes oh. um, You got any water, Chris? Oh, hello, Chuck. Um, oh, you know, do you know, I sold the last one just before. Sorry. How are you? You look a bit stressed. Oh, it's just Mickey John. He told me that I should try and learn something new every day. Sounds good to me. Right. Uh, the potato. <laughs> um, did you know that the potato was discovered 7,000 years ago um, by some farmers in the, um, in the Andes? Oh, uh, fascinating. Oh, <laughs> That good, eh? Maybe you should think about a way of brightening it up. Just imagine telling it to Jack and make it so that he would enjoy it. Oh, that's a fantastic idea, Chuck. Oh, thanks, I'll try that. I'll see you later then. <laughs> bye bye. Right, gotta pretend I'm telling it to Jack. Oh, that'll work. I wonder what you're up to now, Jack. Wow, do you see that ship over there? Well, that's called a cargo boat, and it 
it's carrying all different things from all over the world. Do you know, I bet it's got some exotic fruits and vegetables in it, Jack. <laughs> it might even end up on your daddy's stall. Are you having fun, Daddy? I hope Jack's having a good time at the docks today. <laughs> Hi, Rudy. Hi, Rudy. <laughs> oh, hello, Tina. Hang on a minute, love. Let me just serve Tina. Um, how are you doing today, Tina? Oh, I'm fine. In a rush, as usual. Um, I'll take a bag of potatoes, please. Oh, a bag of potatoes, you say? <clears throat> Did you know, Tina, that the potato was discovered 7,000 years ago, high up in the Andes, um, by farmers? Um, and originally, in Europe, the potato... It I, 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 I'm sorry, Rudy, but... I really don't have time for this. I'll uh, pop back later. But, Bye, Louie. But what about your potatoes? Oh, was it something I said? Oh, Rudy, you're going to scare off all your customers if you carry on like that. I know, but, but what did I do wrong? I've, I've been working really hard all day trying to teach my customers interesting facts about fruit and veg, and I do keep on scaring them off. Oh, I'm going to need to do better than this if I want to sell anything today, but, but how? Where did the time go? At six o'clock, I dropped Jack off at Granny Murray's. The children had been busy making flags because they were going to go to the docks later. They even dressed Claude up like a ship's captain. Jack gave me a lovely flag that he'd made with his picture on it. At seven o'clock, I was getting ready to start work when Mickey John stopped by. He told me he thought it was a good idea for people to learn something new each day. At 8 o'clock, Mickey John came back with a book full of fascinating facts all about potatoes. I decided to try potato facts out on my customers. At 10 o'clock, the first customer I tried it on was Chuck. She thought it was a bit dry and that I should imagine I was talking to Jack to make it more lively. At 1 o'clock, I was telling Tina some interesting potato facts, but she said she didn't have time to listen and she left without buying her potatoes. Now remember, We've all got something to teach, and we've all got something to learn. Hmm. We've all got something to teach, and we've all got something to learn. Well, I've got something to teach, and what I've got to learn is how I can make it more fun. <laughs> Come on, Louis, give us a hand. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. I like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? He's a sure as we are friends, he will get there in the end Because he knows what he should do, I'm working for I'm gonna do it He's gonna do it I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna sort it He's gonna start it I'm gonna do the job on time like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Right, come on ladies and gentlemen Get your fruit and veg from all around the world Learn a little something with everything you buy <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry I had to rush off Oh no, don't worry about it, Tina Hey, listen, what would you like? We have got some lovely juicy oranges from Spain We've got tatties from Scotland We've got apples from England Lovely juicy grapes, all the way from France. Lemons and limes from Greece. And bananas from the West Indies. This is really fascinating. I'll take some tatties from Scotland, a bunch of those West Indian bananas, I'll have a bag of Spanish oranges, and I'll have some of those lovely looking French grapes. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Rudy. You certainly taught me something new today. Oh, no, no, no. You're the one that's taught me something, Tina. <laughs> Never bore my customers. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was really interesting. Oh, thanks, Bye. Tina. See you later. Bye. Oh, that was fun. Wonder if Jack's been having fun with Granny Murray. <laughs> Here we are, my darling. That's us. Do you think these bananas came in one of those boats that we were looking at today? Maybe. Maybe, my darling. <laughs> That's you. Well Thank done. You. Do you know, I know somebody who's not going to be coming across the sea, but he's going to be coming across town to pick you up. Who do you think? Daddy. Yay! Daddy's coming. I want to be with you, Daddy. <laughs> Rudy, come away, Rudy. Someone 
want to see you, Jack. Hello, Ready? Hey, give a cuddle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you've had a great time with Granny Murray. Yep, we certainly did. Go on, say thanks to Granny Murray. Thank you, Granny Murray. Oh, it's a pleasure, my angel. <laughs> oh, and thanks loads from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you told me. We've all got something to teach and we've all got something to learn. And it saved the day. <laughs> thanks, Rudy. Right, come on, you two. You'd better be off. <laughs> come on, mate. There you go. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. <laughs> me too. Bye. Come on, Jack. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye-bye, closing, wigging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round. What was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as the captain of a ship because we were going down to the river to look at the ships at the docks. The children and I had great fun making our own flags and Jack gave his to Rudy to take to the market. Later on, when Rudy was busy working, I took the children to look at all the different ships in the transport museum. Then we saw even more ships when we went to the dockside. We wondered about all the different countries they had come from and what cargo they might be carrying. Jack and I thought that some of them might have been carrying fruit and veg for the market. When Jack and I were enjoying a banana, we wondered if it might have come across the sea on one of the boats we saw today. And Rudy remembered that we all have things to learn and we all have things to teach. Maybe this one came over on one of those boats too. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. I love to sip and river to dingle, river to dingle, bye. I love to sip and river to dingle, river to dingle, that's for me. Come on and get on down to the city, the city. where the fairy folks dance the blues. Time to call on Granny Murray.